what is going on guys today we are taking out this hard drive and putting it into this enclosure because this laptop messed up if you haven't seen the previous video the previous video was us unboxing the Sabrent hard drive enclosure so this laptop messed up don't know really what's wrong with it uh, I just know it's not fixable so we're gonna try to save the hard drive and put it on another computer as an external storage uh, just to try to get this stuff that's on this hard drive off. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take these screws out to get the hard drive out. Alright, so that was easy. Just disconnect it. Now we need to take the screws out of the sides. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take these screws out. Alright, so one side is loose, so now we need to do the other side. And that's the last screw. There's that. And there's the hard drive that came out of the ASUS laptop. Here is the enclosure. All right, so once we get the hard drive out, we're gonna match up these connectors. Just like that. And then we're gonna put it in the enclosure. Now we're gonna put the screws on that were included with the enclosure. Alright, so that should be good. Now, now one end of this USB will go inside there. And the other side will go into the other laptop. So I'm going to go grab the other laptop and pray this works. Alright, so the laptop you're looking at right now is the ASUS. I've made an unboxing of this uh, a couple years ago. I think it was like two, two and a half years ago. I uh, really don't know what happened to it, um, but the connector's messed up. I think the fan went out, the screen went out, I don't know what else, uh, but it can be fixed. So my mom went ahead and bought this laptop right here, which is the Lenovo. She just got that. That video will also be in the description below, so you guys can check that out. So let's go ahead and put this hard drive on there and see if we did a good job. Alright, so here is the moment of truth. Hard drive is right here, Lenovo. Let's go ahead and plug it in. It made a noise. Let's see if it pops up. All right, it recognized something. So let's go ahead. On the hard drive, I don't know if you can see, right there, there is a blue indicator knowing that it's on. All right, let's see if we can open up this hard drive. Basically what we're trying to get is the pictures that we had on the old ASUS laptop. Hopefully we can get them on this hard drive and hopefully we can transfer them over to this computer as we have some pretty good photos that we wanted to keep. I'm sure you guys understand that. Right, so as you can see here we are on the external hard drive that came from the ASUS. And as you can see here it says users. If you click on that it will have the public, it will have the administrator from the last computer. In this case it's my mom. If you click on it it's going to say you need to allow access. To allow access you need to right click, go down to properties, Click on security and allow full control to everyone. Once you do that, you are able to click on the file. You see everything that's on the old laptop. Click on your pictures. You have all your files. And there are all your pictures from the hard drive that was on the last computer. You can go on here and you can see all the files that you had on your desktop, all your documents. So it's pretty awesome that I was able to save this stuff for my mom. Really proud of myself, to be honest, uh, because I've never done anything like this. And I was able to take the computer apart, take the hard drive out, buy this device, and just pray that I could do it correctly. So again, we were using the Sabra external hard drive enclosure. So we took it out of the ASUS laptop, put it in that enclosure, put it on the new laptop, and was able to save the files. So I can't wait to tell my mom that I saved them all in the morning, because it is currently 1.30 in the morning. Uh, so I'll be telling her that I saved all her files in the morning. Uh, hopefully she gets pretty happy about that. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll try to help you out as much as I can. I'm no expert at computers, but I feel like I have a good idea of how to do this now. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. See you guys next one. Peace.